Welcome to Favi Crystal. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a notebook cover. So please stay tuned. We are going to be opening our Pixel Lab and this is what we'll see when we open it. So you go up, delete the new text like I told you. Then go and size uh, look at the size of the shape you want to do. Depending on how your size is, that's what will bring out the hard look. So now this is the size I'm going to be using. Then I'll go to my shape, select the squash and the circle shape. The reason why I did not select the circle shape is because of the kind of circle I want is not the kind of one they have there. So that's why I selected this. And look at what I'm going to be using to design. Then later I'll go to the background color and change it, which I've just done. Then go to my gallery. I'm going to be input, uh, inserting the gallery I want to use for my download. What I want to use for my book cover, which is this I'm going to be using so now that i've put it i'll adjust it and put it in the right format or how um, depending on how i want it to be after which i've done with this the next thing i'm going to be doing is editing the name subject class date and everything then as well as arranging it in proper code also i'm going to be placing it beneath it like underneath it so now let's see how it's going to look now now I've, I'm going to be arranging it here, so it's kind of scattered, and secondly, it is not the way I want it to be. The color is not the way I want it to be, so we are going to first go and change the color to black, after which we'll adjust it, because you see that the space has been adjusted now. So now that it has been adjusted, I go to new text again. I put 40 leaves, depending on the leaves you want. Maybe some can be 2A, 2D, 40 leaves, 60 leaves, depending on what exactly you want. But what I want to do is the back of our 40 leaves book. So now, after putting the 40 leaves, I'll change the color to black, then look at the sizing and also change the font to my preferred fonts. later on working on the shape going to the shapes because we are going to be fixing the shape and the shape is going to be one of the things that will serve as its background and the shape is going to have a is like a square shape which i'm going to be changing the radiance and making it into making it look circular in the in the edges so i'm going to put it in front in the back of this photo list so let's see how it goes and how it looks now oh, I've put 40 leaves and I'm going to be locking it. Why am I locking it? So as not to make it move. Then back to school. So I'm going to be at distance and also putting space in between the words, which I just did and changing the color. Now, after which you are done with this, you just save your notebook. You see, it is as simple as that. Now, it doesn't stop there. If I want to do it to show an advert, maybe arranged in, an, in a holder, I'll start in a new page. And here I'm going to delete the new test. Like I told you, that's the first thing to do. After which I've deleted the new test, I'll go for the color of my background. What color do I want to give it? So yeah, I'm going to be giving it white. But if it doesn't come how well, the standards I will change it. Now I'm going to be inserting the gallery of what I want to be using. And that's the book I just made. And now just watch and see how it turns out. I'm going to be inserting the book now. So it's underneath my pixel lab. So that's just what I just opened now. And this is it. So now that I've inserted heat, I'm going to now be working on it to make it a 3D shape. So now let's go for that. But before then, I need to adjust it to rotate it to the place I want it to be till it is balanced. Then I go to my stroke. You can decide not to give it a stroke, but I just said, let me give it a stroke and let me see how far. It doesn't mind, no matter, no matter how light it is. So you see my stroke is just two, so it's not much. Then you come to your 3D shape. Now that it's in the 3D shape, you see that it gives us this box shape, not small, a paper shape. Like it's no more, like it's no more 
light is now thicker. You see that now that I've bent it to the down, look at how the back looks like. It looks like a textbook, a notebook. So this is what you used to do. Look at it from the two sides, the down, and that's also the way it is above it. So um, I'm going to be going to the stroke. Look at the stroke now. Look at this. The stroke, the more the stroke, the more the 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 lightness in it so now let's go back to the 3d um this thing the 3d shape because this um the shape we gave what we want to do is a notebook so a notebook is not expected to be this long but i'm just using it to show you that even if you, what you want to do is the decoration of a diary of a dictionary a bible or whatsoever you want to do depending on how you want it to be so this is how a notebook should be more reason why i have to reduce it to be this way so now that i've done it the thing i'm going to be doing is rotating it you can either rotate it x-axis or y-axis the x-axis is either yeah taking it up or down why the y axis is either you're taking it left or right so try to understand the two rotational key and after i'm going now that i'm rotating it, i'm going to rotate it till i'm satisfied with how it is so just stay tuned So now that I'm done with it, I'm going to go to the background color because it's really not bringing out the shape I want it to bring. So you've seen that I've been, I'm trying to adjust it and I'm still not getting the rightful position I want. So if I were you, I'll take my time, adjust it to the proper length or the proper breadth of a book so that's what i'm trying to do and achieve and also i want a situation by which it's still going to be appearing at the side because i'm going to be doing it into three so i went to the perspective that's the 3d shape went to perspective and changed the deepness like how bold it should be went as well as copying it into three places two more places that's making it three books and you see the outcome and how it's looking so i'm just going to adjust it and bring the first one to the front and adjust it to the proper way it's expected to be so let's watch it and see how it looks now so now that i i'm done with this I'm going to just put Favy Crystal publication and publishers in the side. Like, of course, you know, if there's a notebook, there should be a publisher's name, either the company. And I'm going to be, I've, I'm going to be, I've locked the three notebook. Why did I lock it? So as to, to enable it not to move when I'm moving the alphabet. And I'm going to be changing the color of the things I wrote. That's Favy Crystal publisher. So I'm going to be arranging it. I'm putting it in the appropriate order in order for it to stay in the side of the book. So please stay tuned and keep watching and see what um is the outlook is going to be. So I'm going to adjust and reduce the size to my preferred uh, to the prefer uh, to make it match with the book. After which I, will, I copied it twice more to make it three and put it in the other place. So you see that when you are looking at it, you see the old letters appears by the side of the book. So that's it. So now this is, I've been able to rotate it the normal way I'm expected to. And that's all for now thank you in case you want me to do other things please don't hesitate to comment on the comment box and also share like and subscribe thanks and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up love you all